Today, we're gonna make a funeral home with a cemetery using the Life and Death expansion pack. And thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for the early access. Hmm. Ah, yes. The Life and Death expansion pack is coming out on the 31st of October, and it's all about, well, life and death, really. And it's including some funerals, so of course, we have to make a funeral home. Huh? That's the rules. Oh, and by the way, the EA was also kind enough to give me an extra code for the new expansion pack. Do you know what that means? I'm gonna give it away. And all you have to do to join this giveaway is to go in that little link in my description and that link will send you to a google form where all you have to do is just write in your username to either twitter or instagram because youtube doesn't have a dm function sadly and then just send that little google form in and that's it and i will pick the winner randomly because whatever happened last time with the giveaway i don't know what happened but something happened and i'm not gonna do that again it's gonna be google forms from now on but anyways the giveaway will end at october 31st so join along yes okay let's move along this uh, thing. Alrighty, so here I am on my little lot, or it's not a little lot, it's a 64 by 64, so <laughs> it's a huge lot. And I mainly chose this lot because of um, this guy right here, the mountain man. Isn't that creepy and wonderful? I do think so. <laughs> and as you can see, I have my name here popping around the screen. That is because it is an early access of the game, so that's just for legal reasons. I did not put that in myself, that I did not. <laughs> so if that's annoying for you, I'm so sorry but there's nothing I can do about that. All right, so let's start this build, this funeral home build. And we are, of course, gonna start with the exterior because it would be weird to not start with the exterior. I do think so. And since the new world in the Life and Death expansion pack is inspired by Romania, I wanted to make a Romanian-inspired build. <laughs> but then, when I went on my little inspiration tour on the internet last night, I found this castle, which is Scottish, and it's called the Tulialan. No, why did I have to pick a castle with a hard name. I just at the Tulialan castle. <laughs> I hope that was somewhat correct. But anyways, I saw this castle and I got really, really inspired. All right. It's very boxy, but I like it. There's something happening in the back, but we're not going to care about that. We're only going to care about what's happening in the front here. All right. Good. But I'm of course going to make it a little bit more Romanian inspired. Okay. We're not going to do a completely Scottish castle. I'm going to try my best to mix the best of the both worlds. So let's start off with this box. And it was just a really square box, wasn't it? Yeah. Is. Happy with that. And then on the corners here, we need to make a little octagon room. And can Nora do it? No, she cannot. Just something like so. And then in the middle here, what if we make a little box that goes out? Yeah. And that was it, really. Oh no, we can make a little box out here too. Just to get some sweet, sweet shapes, you know? And then I just take this box and then I plop it on the second floor and on the third floor because it's gonna be a big build. We need a big castle. Oh, the towers did not follow. Oh, that's a bummer, but I'm gonna fix everything. And there we go. Oh my gosh, my name tag. Get away from me! And I do believe that I want these towers to pop up like so. Get some dimensions. We can also, just for fancies, get a little box there too. You know what? I do think that that is a good starting point. I do really think so. Alrighty. Now, let's get some wallpaper on this build. And ooh, we got this wallpaper, which is called Sinister Stones, which is like a brick moment. And by the way, if you want a more in-depth review of all the build by items in the new pack, then you can check out the review that I did two days ago or something like that. I can't remember anymore. But anyways, I think I want this part to be a little bit lighter and then the back part or normal part the part that's not sticking out that can be a little bit darker or something just to get some contrast Alrighty, the wallpaper is now all up and let's add in our windows and we got a few new windows in the new pack we do what do i want to go for that is the big question i think i want to go for these ones on the first floor just for the grandness and then the second floor do i want them oh i think i want these ones wow and then the same on the third floor i do believe and then oh my gosh what am i going to do for the towers oh i can use these windows that I can do. But I think it's gonna be too much if I have the windows on every single wall. Yeah, that's gonna be way too much. <laughs> what am I gonna do here? What if I alternate them like that? Is that gonna be weird? Or is it gonna be genius? Maybe I can alternate them. I can always come back to this and change it up, you know? Mm. Alrighty, I have placed in all my windows now. Looking all fancy, dancy, dancy though. And now we need a door. What door do I want? Maybe I can go for the doors for the medium height walls. And ooh, that's a funky door. I want that door in the dirty one. Yes. And I'm also gonna put this on the little foundation. And look at that sweet, sweet new foundation. Oh la la. But guess what? They did not give us any new 
new platform trims. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's start working on the roof. And I'm kind of nervous because what am I going to do for the roof? <laughs> okay, I think first off, we're going to begin with an octagonal roof on those little towers we have there. Boom! I'm going to raise it up to high heavens. Curve it a little bit in maybe. No, not that much. Oh, I regret everything. But we're going to have that little spiky roof. And then we're going to use the new roof tiles. Boom! That's a love laugh. You see, all the other houses are red. And I don't want to be left out. So, red it is. And then for this roof, what am I going to do there? Maybe a uh, hip roof? Is that what it's called? Yes. Oh, I'm so good with the roof names. I might be a professional. And then for the big roof out here, I'm going to start off with a big, big, big old square. And then maybe a hip roof that goes in this direction. And then I copy it over here too. You know what? I think we are getting somewhere with this roof. Maybe we can add in a gabled roof as well. This was some contrast, you know? Just like so. And I also did the same in the back here. If you were wondering, I did the same in the back. And then I do think I want to use the new freezer the white one and I can go like under the roof maybe I mean where else would it go really <laughs> but look at the new freezers they're massive <laughs> like, look at that that's kind of cool Ooh, and then maybe on this roof what if I add this thing I don't really know what it is but it kind of fits in there doesn't it then I also want to add these spiky spiky things on me towers I can do it she kind of did it oh and then I can also add these spiky things on this roof that's gonna be lovely yes I very much like that that has added some kind Contrast and details and interest. We're in the muddy people. Okay, so one thing that I also kind of want to do is to make this part a little balcony. Because right now it looks a little flat. So I think I want to make a balcony. Yeah. With this fence maybe. The eerie elegance fence. And just plop that in there. Yum. Then I can put in the new spandrels. Yes. And the new columns as well. Plop that on there. Boom, shambalam. Oh, and I also added in the door. <laughs> if you were wondering. Right. What an exterior this is. I... <laughs> It's gonna be massive. Oh no. Why didn't I think about this? Yeah, just as I suspected, this place is absolutely massive. I mean, let me just get a chair for reference. Look at that. It's massive. And we have three floors <laughs> to um, furnish and decorate. Oh, yikes. Well, um, let's try and do a layout of this house. Okay, let's, um, uh, let's just try. So, what do we need? We need, like, a funeral room. That's good to have for a funeral home, you know? And also, maybe, like, a memorial room. Is that what it's called? You know, the after party you have after the funeral? It's not an after party. Oh no. <laughs> It's, it's this word, all right? So maybe the big funeral room can be somewhere around here. And then we can have the memorial room right there. And then over here, we can have like an office or something, maybe. And then on the second floor, oh my gosh, I don't even know what's gonna be up here. Or on the third floor, really. Oh, yikes. So, you know, we're gonna figure it all out as we go, all right? Don't you worry. Oh, the wall's going through the window. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so the room chef can be like so. And then, what if we have some stairs here on each side here? Then we can have like a door here and like a door on each side like so i think that could be a plan you know and then everything else we just got to figure out later on uh, yeah or actually hold on no 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 i do believe i want this part to be a little balcony place wouldn't that be cool and fresh and fun and then we can also have some sort of balcony right here just so we have less space to decorate you know and it's good for the building to get some shapes you know sweet sweet shapes and then we can have a third balcony on the other side yeah and there are my beautiful balconies in all its glory <laughs> all right now let's begin with with the freaking freaking landscaping and uh, i'm kind of nervous because i want to make this place a little bit hilly is that even a word i really don't know anymore but anyways i want this place to have some hills because i want it to be a little bit messy a little bit wiggly wiggly a little bit out there so i do believe if you take this house and just prop it up on some platforms like so then if i take my flatten to height tool then i increase the height a few times then i just go like so and then on the other step here i go up four then i make some terraining again oh i have no idea how this is going to be but maybe it will be indeed something all right so this is what the terraining is looking like right now i know it looks messy i know but it is a start okay it is a start and now i think i am gonna put in some stairs like so let me copy that and can that fit on that yes it can all right then the staircase right there all right you know what before i begin with that stair mess i need to put up some plants around the house before i forget because i am gonna forget i'm gonna put up my plants around the house it's gonna be a lovely people it's gonna be magical and there we go i put up me plants all around me house right now we can continue on with the staircases and i deleted them as well i was so annoyed by them so we were gonna have some stairs here and then i do think i want some teeny tiny stairs just randomly put somewhere you know you know just like so i don't know why i did that but i did it for the magic <laughs> and then i do think i want a fence big old fence maybe this one can that work oh yeah that's spiky and i love it then i'm just gonna put it around the whole freaking 
fucking fucking bill. And that is indeed what she did, people. It's a bit um, wibbly wobbly. <laughs> But I think it's kind of fun. I don't know. I need to fix that later. <laughs> all right. Now I need to make some pathways. And first of all, I'm just going to sketch it out. Because I don't really know where this is going. So I think we need a pathway here. I mean, who could have thanked that? <laughs> and then on each side here, I want a little wiggly wiggler pathway. Just along there. And then we can have some graves and stuff on each side. Spice it up real nice. I think that could be good for us. But all right. Let me do the pathways for real this time. And I will see you afterwards. Ah, all right. So here is the pathways that I made. And I also changed up the grass around around it just to get some more ambiance you know and now i am of course gonna put in the graves and as you can see we got some new gravestone stuff we also got this rift of eternity whoa which is a big old house we also got these grave sites one in wood and one in stone so i think i'm gonna put all of this in in my big old graveyard cemetery place and hopefully it will be all right you know hopefully it will it's gonna take a long long time i do feel like because i have to put in lots of graves lots of crypts and maybe some plants some benches some statues we may never know what Nora is going to put in, but she's going to put in a lot and it's going to be magical and maybe it's going to be fun. Who knows? Who knows what Nora going to be feeling? I hope it's going to be magical at least or else it's going to be a very bad video. Alrighty, so this is what I've put up. You know, you know, I have put up a lot of graves and the crypts just everywhere. I've even put in some statues and I even got this thing. I'm not really sure what it's called. I can't even copy it, but it is a, um, it's cool. <laughs> I like it and I put it there. Oh, and I also put in the ghost. How plant from Deepa and isn't that wonderful right now as you can see or maybe not but you know me i love me detailing i really do and normally i would put rocks on all the little cliff edges right here i would put rocks everywhere but since this is an early release version of the game meaning that the game isn't finished yet and with that i do not have tool mod or the build by mod which makes it incredibly difficult to navigate the debug menu and i can't place items the way i want them to all right, I wanted to hide up all of these cliff edges with the bug rocks, but it's just, I'm going to be here forever if I'm going to do that. And I have a whole mansion to build. <laughs> oh no. But I thought with at least this edge right here, I'm going to try the basement method. And I hate the basement method because it, it's so difficult, but I'm going to try. I mean, if I even can find some rocks in this debug menu, holy moly me. Oh, here we have some rocks. Here we go. And now I need to make me basement. Okay, I got me basement right there. And then if I take me rock down here into the basement and then I raise it up. No, it's not showing. Okay, great. Some more, maybe. No, it's not showing. Ah! Raise it up some more. And I turned it around. Turn around, girl. It's just showing a little bit. Right. What about now? Okay, that looks awful. Oh. Ah! Okay, I am back. I have put in all my rocks. <laughs> I do not want to do that anymore. That was not fun. I did not have an enjoyable time. If you think I'm going to do that for the rest of the clips, you are insane. That took such a long time. I miss my tool mod. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> but you know, we got some character at least. Right, moving on. We need some something in the back here yeah? because it looks kind of empty right now <laughs> so I do kind of think i want a little crypt place right here on each side for the vips if i just make a little platform right here just kind of like so and i need to put my stairs in as well bobbity bam oh bobbity bobbity bam then i can put a little crypt right there yeah and then on each side we can have a little bench for a little bench moment and then we need something in the middle and what can that be i can put up this little memorial display up in there Ooh, and then we need some stairs to get up here and i kind of prepared a little spot right here and then make a teeny tiny little pathway up there then i'm of course gonna do that on the other side as well because why wouldn't i we need symmetry up in here you know what yeah i do kind of like those little crypts they fill up the space real nice and neatly and oh my gosh my name's here get away get away now on the back of the house i thought we could have some playground equipment so we can have these new monkey bars boom and the new swing set that's scary that's nice and then we can also have this creepy creepy fountain that i found in the debug menu <laughs> Ooh, and we also need some pathways to go along back there that i also need to do all right i'm gonna do that Okay, I do believe I am done with the landscaping now. I mean, look at this. This is some scary Mary stuff. I put up some very, very scary trees from the debug menu. I wish I could show you them, but I can't find them again in the menu. <laughs> But oh wow, this is starting to look so cool. Let me have a look at it in the nighttime. Oh, that's real scary, Mary. I do like that. Look at the fountain as well. It's glowing. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's start on the inside, shall we? I think it's about time we do it. Oh, I'm scared. All right, what are we going to begin with first? That is a big question. I think we're going to put in some wallpaper. Th that's a good idea. Ooh, that's lovely. And also the new flooring just everywhere. Oh, that's nice. And then, oh, we have some new carpets. That's right. Oh. <gasps> 
<gasps> oh no. I don't have tool mod. So I can't configure the carpets how I want them to. But that's not gonna be good. But you know what? That fits in lovely right there. It really does. I think I want to begin with the funeral room. Funeral room. Everything sounds so weird today. But I want to begin with the funeral room. Oh, and by the way, I know you can see that the plants are sticking through the wall. But that is because I raised down the foundation. Because then it's much easier to decorate this place without the camera going up and down. And in the end, I will raise it back up. Okay. And when I raise it back up, the plants will disappear from the walls. <laughs> Thank you. Just for my own sanity, I had to raise down the foundation for this bit. All right. So what does a funeral room have? That's a great question. They usually have like a big stage and some chairs and stuff. So we're going to make a big old platform, maybe like so, and raise it up a little bit. And then we do need the most important thing, and that is the casket. And all oh, the casket table. Boom. Ta-ta. And then maybe if we put a round carpet under there, oh, that could be something. Yeah. And then we can put one of those memorial tables in the back there. That's going to be very squeezed up. Okay, maybe I can take the platform a little bit out. Just kind of like so. I think that could be neat and nice. We got lots of space now. And I'm also going to change the color of the coffin. Oh, that's a funky green one. I like that. And I'm also going to change up the flooring on the platform stage. Platform stage. <laughs> that, ooh, I want to use the new curtain arch. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. That fits in nice and neat and neat and nice. And I'm also going to put up my flowers for the ambiances. Oh, and then right here, we could have that little uh, simple death podium. Okay, we can squeeze it right there. And then on the other side, we could have a piano, maybe? You're always in need of a piano. And I can also squeeze in some chairs right there. That looks kind of ominous <laughs> with those tall chairs, but whatever. Ooh, and now we need some curtains. Oh, no. The new Life and Death expansion pack did not come with new curtains. And that's so annoying when packs doesn't come with new curtains. When they have windows in a weird shape. And you think base game curtains are gonna match that? Hello, welcome back. I have looked through every single curtain. I do not like any of them. None of them fit perfectly. Surprise, surprise. But I think I am going to use this one because that's the best we got right now. Right. Now we need some chairs so that people lips can sit on them. I think normally you would have those uh, church benches that are so uncomfortable to sit on and everybody wants to cry. But I don't really think they have something like that, you know? No, they do not. So I think we just got to go with chairs and I think that's going to be nice enough, you know, or kind of creepy. Meh, we shall see. You know what? It doesn't look that creepy. It looks a little weird, but it doesn't look creepy. But maybe it will look creepy if we put up these carpets and I decide them down like so so we can have a little runner <laughs> yeah sure good enough for nora right and then for the back what am i gonna do in the back it looks kind of flat what if we do something funky with the wall what if we make a little one of these and then we got some wings i don't know what i'm doing anymore but what if <laughs> oh no what am i doing nora please help yourself what if i put in some arches and then i raise this little piece up to get something funky funky you know what i honestly do not know if that's funky or not i kind of wanted to put in something else in those uh, little uh, arch holes <laughs> arch holes that sounded like something else but i wanted to put something else in those little arches but we don't really have that much to choose from maybe we can put something in front of that to just hide everything up i mean we can put up these little whatever that is a hostess station sure we can have a hostess station then we can have like some candles on there or something yeah and that's what i did i put up some candles and that little memorial picture in the middle there and it's looking kind of nice but it's also looking very dark what happened there who knows oh now these walls they are looking kind of empty not gonna lie so i think i really really want to put up these tarot card prints just like you so i absolutely love these posters and they just brighten up the mood don't they i think they really do all right let's move on to this entryway and what are we gonna have in here i do wonder maybe in the middle right there we can have some couches because why not and then oh we can put up this pedestal thing <gasps> and then we can put up this cutie patootie up there it's not centered oh that was annoying oh now we can also put up some flowers and some more tables with some more flowers oh wait we can put up these little signs right here so they know that they're going to a funeral funeral in here is that weird no i don't think that's weird you need signs no matter what the place is you know um you know what i just thought about <laughs> which might cause a little problem you know since this is a funeral home and you're gonna be carrying a big old casket this isn't the best entryway to be carrying a big old casket you know <laughs> you have to go around the couches oh <gasps> kind of like a roundabout <laughs> you know what i'm gonna leave it like that i was gonna to remove the couches and stuff but it is truly a roundabout it's the roundabout of life mm, yeah that's kind of problematic but you know anyways let's move on to this memorial room and i've already made a little bathroom in here because i am a protective queen so for a little memorial room maybe we want another stage but not as big as this one you know but just a teeny tiny little stage kind of like so and then we can put up a little memorial table right there and this little podium and what is this memorial cannon at a funeral okay
okay, we're gonna have that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm also gonna put up this new cool light. Oh, oh, it's on the platform. There we go. And then I kind of want to change the color of this wall so we can get this green wall. Oh, that's funky. I like that. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> I mean, we can put up some chairs so people can sit and watch the memorial speeches and stuff. And we can also put in some little, little coffee tables. These ones. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. And can we also squeeze in the carpet? That is the big question, you know, big question of life. What if we take this carpet? Can we squeeze that in? Oh no, I missed my tool mod. I it's if I make it a little bit bigger now. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Okay. Ah, but anyways, we can also put in the fireplace, maybe. That's a cool fireplace, by the way. Look at that skull. And I'm also gonna put in these uh, hostess uh, tables, whatever they were called. And I'm gonna put some little food on them. And by little, I mean some amount of food. Because you need food at the memorial service. That's always good to have. Yeah. Like it so well. And I'm also gonna put up some more of these titled posters. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. And then over here, what can we have over here? We can have a bar moment. Is that inappropriate? No, I do not think so. Or is it inappropriate? Wait, okay. All the funerals that I've been through, there's not been a bar. But that doesn't mean there can be a bar and still be respectful. And in this game, there isn't even anything alcoholic, you know? It's just juice and nectar and whatever. So they can have a little drink drinkling, you know? Ooh, I can also put a little couch right there. That can be cool. I like that little couch moment right there. All right, now in this little corner, what are we gonna have in there? I think we're gonna have some more sitting places. Neat and nice, you know? Oh no, I have the chairs in the wrong color. How could I? But anyways, I'm gonna put in the carpet right here. And I do believe they have an octagon one. Wow, they do. Look at that. Cool. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the bathroom. How could I? <laughs> gonna put in the sink and the middle. And a little trash can because you never know when you need a trash can in the bathroom. Anything can happen in the bathroom. And el toiletos with some candles on top. <laughs> Very wonderful. Oh no, I wanna plant there. Boom. Extremely wonderful. All right, now for this part of the house. What was this gonna be again? An office? Yeah, I think it was gonna be an office. But that's gonna be a big old office, though. Maybe I can split it off right here or something. And then we can have something else there. That's what I always uh, think, you know? Sometimes I do wonder what the freaking frack I'm talking about. Right, I'm gonna put in the new desk that we got. And since this is a very formal office where they talk to their potential clients and customers, we need some chairs right there so they can sit and discuss very important matters. Yes. And I'm also gonna put in me carpet and mini Kleenex. Wow. Then I think maybe right here I want some bookcases. Wouldn't that be something? Something to wonder about. And then if you remove these two, and then we can have like a funky little table in there or something. <gasps> Like this dresser. That fits in perfectly. Okay, I like that. And then we put some sweet, sweet Nicky Nacks on there. Just for good measure. All right, I put up my Nicky Nacks, as you can see. And I, I am trying not to be frustrated of this, but I kind of am. I am once again missing my tool mod because this collage that right here fits in perfectly in this office. But I wish it was just a smidge smaller. But if I size it down the regular way, I mean, it becomes so small. So it just got to be a little squeezed in, okay? <laughs> oh, and as you can see, I have put my Nicky Nacks to a minimum. Because as you might know, I love me nicky knacks. I love to clutter up places. But this is a huge lot and we have lots of rooms to do. So I am kind of worried that if I put in too much stuff, then this place is going to start to lag and maybe crash. And in this version of the game, the gallery does not exist. So I cannot save the lot. If I press that, then I will just get an error message. So I got to be really careful about this build not crashing. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, back to this. We need something more funky in here. And what can that be? Oh, I can put up a little sitting corner in there with the little table and on that table i'm gonna have something something whoa oh my gosh look at that little cute ghost that's in the jar that is adorable i love him so much and oh my gosh look what i found from the debug menu i found a crow on a stick i'm gonna put him right there isn't that adorable my little crow okay doggy let's get that over to this room and what is this room gonna be i need to figure this out all right i've had a big thing tm <laughs> and i thought that the people who run this funeral home also live in this funeral home so they can live on the second floor so what if this area right here is a little back area the back rooms so you know you have a little staff kitchen a little chilling place a bathroom you know you know and of course we can also have a staircase that leads up to the second floor to where the funeral people live doesn't that sound like a great idea let's find the staircase so i think if i place the staircase right here then i can get a wall to surround the staircase like so and then put a little door on there and then we can have a bathroom right
right there. Boom, Shyamalan. All right, so first off, we can squeeze in a little staff kitchen in there. And look at these new beautiful counters. And then we need a fridge. And the pack comes with the new beautiful fridge that actually touches the counter. Look, there's no gap. But since this is a staff kitchen, I think we need to bring up this uh, fridge. Yeah, no. And then we can have a microwave, maybe. And a coffee machine, that's important. El importante. And all the other usual nickety knacks that you have in the kitchen. I mean, that's a cute little kitchen, isn't it? I do think so. Ooh, and then I can squeeze in the carpet right there. Because it fits in. <laughs> and then I can have a little shabby TV on that thing. And a couch. And of course, a little table. A little old table. And there we have a little beautiful sitting place. Oh, and then we also need a table so you can sit and eat your freaking food. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie doo. <laughs> oh, and of course, we need a little rack. A clothing rack. Hat rack. I don't know, but some type of rack. You know, just kind of for the ambiances. I feel like that's important. All right, so on the second floor, where the funeral home people live, <laughs> I need to make a floor plan because this is massive. What am I going to do with all the space? Okay, hold on. All right, I am back. I made a floor plan and it is so weird. I had to cut all of that out because otherwise this video would have been three hours long. But anyways, I have decided that this part right here is going to be for the people leaves. That's not in this family, you know, and that's going to go up to the third floor for something. I really don't know what. So this is not a part of the funeral family home, okay? It is new. And as you can see, the home goes around that staircase. So it is a big old maze. But I think that is okay for a funeral home family, you know? Um, so can or I remember all the rooms? That is the question. Let's see. So here we have the entryway with a little home office and another hallway. And in here we have the primary bedroom with the ensuite bathroom. And here is another bathroom. Because I, yeah. And here we have another hallway. They love them hallways. Another hallway. And here we have the living room, dining room, kitchen, hallway again. And then in here we have the toddler bedroom and the teen bedroom. And in here, what was going to be in here? In here is the bathroom to the teen bedroom. And there's the bathroom to the toddler bedroom. And here's a little guest bathroom. Boom, Shyamalan. Isn't it wonderful uh, what I just made? I really do think so. <laughs> okay. So first of all, let's uh, try and decorate this hallway. The public hallway. So we can start with the little carpet. And put that table on the carpet. And some little flowers on the table on the carpet. Oh, and in this little nook, we can put up these ottomans. With a little pedestal in the middle. And a painting. And of course, a little statue on that pedestal. I'm not crazy, you know. Shyamalan hallway. All right, now onto the kitchen. We need a nice old kitchen for this family. And I'm, of course, going to use these counters. Ooh, maybe I can get in the green color, the emerald green. Oh, that's nice. And also pair that with the new fridge and the new stove and the new stove hood. That's lovely. All right, so I think actually in the middle right there, I want to do something that I've never really done before. And that is to put a cabinet down there and then two cabinets on top like so to just create a little fun moment over there, you know? I think that could be something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bye bye, Nora. And now she's going to put in her sweet, sweet Nikki Nax. Oh, yes. Cheers. Wow, my sweet, sweet niggity nag. Boom. And then in this little octagon room, we're gonna have a little breakfast table. And what is that? With some breakfast chairs. That's not what it's called, Nora. <laughs> breakfast chairs. Okay, and we also need a high chair because we're gonna have toddler. Are we gonna have two toddlers, maybe? Why did I put them so far apart, though? <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe the toddlers just hate each other. I don't know. <laughs> but one of the toddlers are gonna have a crow, so mm, it's all good in the hood. All right, and then the dining room. We need a fancy dining table. This one, maybe. And there's some chairs. And then I think we need some hierarchy chairs. Maybe these ones on the end, the scary merry chairs. Yeah, I like that. And then just a carpet to frame it all in. <laughs> yes. Oh, we can also place in this. What is this? Haunted Hutch. We're gonna place in the Haunted Hutch with some Haunted Hutch nickety knacks. Oh, I do think that is very lovely. Very lovely indeed. And then for the living room. Oh, what am I gonna do for the living room? I think I'm gonna use these couches from the new pack, which kind of reminds me of the um, cottage living couches, but I'm not sure because I don't have that pack in this game. So maybe I'm just making that up, but I also think that I'm not making it up. This was a fun conversation we had right here. It really was. But anywho, so I'm gonna put up me fireplace with me fire place nickety next too. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a fireplace and not put nickety next on that, you know? Imagine that. And then right here, we can have a little table and we can have this new uh, trunk of secrets and just squeeze it under there with yet again some nickety next, you know? With maybe that little mushroom man and some flowers and plants and picture frames, maybe? Who knows? And wow, wow my little table place. Whoa, it's falling apart. What am I gonna have in that little room, by the way? Maybe an easel? Because <gasps> somebody in this family is a painter. They need something fun to do after working, you know? That's really really needed when you're working here. I do gotta tell you. Oh my gosh, look at that cool new grandfather clock. Wow. Real exciting times that. <laughs> Alright, now for these bedrooms, I've already put up some tiles so I remember what they're for. Because there's a lot of rooms in here. <laughs> so this room can be the toddler bedroom. 
him and I think for some reason I want the whole room to just be white because we've had so many goth babies lately now we need a I don't know the opposite of goth and look how cute the toddler beds are that is so cute with the string lights oh adorable can you get two of them and maybe some carpets underneath and a bedside table with a bedside lamp and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this part of the room I'm kind of confused what shall I do Ooh, what if I put in this teddy bear <laughs> that's still kind of weird what if I make a wall right there <laughs> and then I put up that arch and that curtain that is creepy oh no I've made something really creepy but I'm gonna keep it I do not want to know why that's in there but it is <laughs> oh okay I'm also gonna put up that little skinny dresser and a chair and a little bookshelf so we can have a little cute reading corner in there you know you know oh and then right here we can have a little dollhouse moment the castle oh yes and one of the new shelves that can be right there oh and then their bathroom their own sweet bathroom we need what do we need now we need a tub because they are toddlers oh <gasps> what if we get this pink one? Oh, that's lovely and then of course a sink with a mirror and some toothbrushes and the hand stuff that's always needed and since they are toddlers they need a toddler toilet so maybe i can squeeze that in there i don't know if you can use that or not but maybe maybe and then on this wall i'm gonna put up some towels and then pippo i'm gonna put up some shelves that i've sized down a little bit and i'm gonna put it over there and then i'm gonna put some bathroom nicky knocks on there bada bing bada boom what a lovely day and i'm also gonna put some pictures on there to frame it all in not that one though what am i on about like so isn't that adorable i really think so and oh my gosh i cannot forget the little robes on the door isn't that adorable <laughs> i love that on the, this bathroom i think i'm gonna do somewhat the same you know i'm gonna put up a mirror on the sink but instead of a bathroom i'm gonna put in that shower the new old shower we got and of course a towel and a toilet <laughs> i feel like that's important to mention that we put in the toilet as well wait hold on why am i doing the bathroom before i'm doing the bedroom i have so many questions well i'm gonna put in the bed and i think i'm gonna use this bed that's kind of funky in here isn't it yeah and also a little bedside table oh i like the vibes that i've created in this room today i really do and then i think i want to put up a half wall right here because this is kind of a long room so i need to separate it off a little bit a little bit though but that leaves off a weird gap right there so i need to put in a little table to fill in that gap and what am i gonna put on that i'm not really sure but i think a tv and some other nickety knacks you know just nickety knack stuff but if i'm like that i even put in a little fish tank the scary mary fish tank because i feel like that fits in here you know <laughs> oh and the new posters we cannot forget that oh and then we need a dresser i almost forgot a dresser how could i that is one of the few things that i always forget is a dresser and i don't know why but i do <laughs> oh in that little corner of the room we can put in a desk a new desk right there beautiful with a chair of course you know forget the chair <laughs> and some desk nickety knacks that is also important can't live without them all right i know that i have toothbrush holders everywhere on this desk but i'm not finished and i use these toothbrush holders as placements and blah, blah. if you were wondering i'm not supposed to have them right there <laughs> but i was thinking in this corner i want some poofs I have a poof moment and some mess on the floor ah and maybe this creepy old lamp too <laughs> i don't know maybe oh my gosh this room turned out so freaking cool i mean look at that that is awesome i love this room who would have thank you that that could happen to another all right let's start working on the primary bedroom and i know what bed i want where is it where is it this one yes the grand old bed and i do think i want to frame it in with this uh, window arch whatever it was just for the ambiances and we can't forget about the nighttime stand tables that's not what they're called nora but anyways i'm gonna put some nicky knacks on them <laughs> love la and also a carpet we cannot forget about the carpet people oh and a lovely little ottoman right there that is so cool yes oh and then i think in this corner right here i want this dresser can i squeeze that in yeah i kind of squeeze that in somehow i mean not really but i did my best people i did my best and that's all that matters really that you tried your best nora you really tried your best with that and i'm also gonna put up a mirror Boom. all right so what am i gonna have right there that's a very good question indeed maybe i can put up a little table and then what happens think nora think i can put this tarot deck on there that's actually playable and they're gonna do some tarot reading bam and i also put up a plant because i felt like it boom bam Jamala. okay so for this bathroom for the ensuite bathroom we need some bathroom stuff and i think some sinks will be good what type of sinks do i want actually <laughs> now that i think about it what do i want yeah i'm gonna change up the wallpaper that's what i'm gonna do and i change it up to this green wallpaper which is love la all right and then i'm gonna put my sinks in the middle like so Ooh, wait what if i change up the wall to that one that could be something okay i like that i like that it could really be a vibe people a wob a wob i don't know anymore i'm gonna put up my toothbrush holders and some little hand towels and some soap and some more hand towels everywhere i go and in this corner we can put up a bathtub with a cool old rug underneath it <gasps> and then i can squeeze in the table right there and i can put up some nicky knacks on that sweet sweet nicky knacks and that's indeed what you did wow what else do we need we need some towels people we do oh and a toilet that's uh, important <laughs> see i always forget the toilet 
toilet and I don't know why. My gully gully gosh. <laughs> but this bathroom is starting to look very cute if I do say so myself. Alright, now for this bathroom. I've already put up the wallpaper because I'm productive today. Okay, so in this bathroom, it's going to be a half bath, I do believe. Or do I believe? Yes, I do believe. I'm gonna put up my hand soap again and my hand towel and a mirror and a plant. Oh, and then in this corner, I can put up this shelf thingy with uh, whatever this is. It's a secret goopy bottle. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and I also put up that little ghost and a little plant. That is kind of cute. I like that. <laughs> and I can't each forget the toilet. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now for this hallway. I think I want a little desk out here just because I can. And it has a perfect desk corner. You know, you know, people have their desks in the hallway. A lot of people do. Now I'm gonna embrace that today. I really am. Ooh, and then on top of that desk, I'm gonna put up some shelves. Then I'm gonna put some books on those shelves. Is that a nice thing to have over your desk? Some books? You can read your beautiful books or not read them as I oftentimes do. Well, anyways, I'm gonna put up a grandfather clock as well. <laughs> and then in this room, that was gonna be the office, wasn't it? I'm gonna put up an office table in here too. Office table, also called a desk. My gosh, I don't know why I always forget the word for desk, but I do for some reason. And instead, I just call it the office table. Like, what? Where did that come from? I really have no idea why. Ooh, I can put up the big version up here in the entryway. That fits. And a new carpet. I'm onto the entryway, people. <laughs> if you didn't know, I have switched rooms. I'm really on a roll today. <laughs> and I'm gonna put up my rack of clothes. I almost said rack of lamps for some reason. I I have no words today. Or actually, I do have a lot of words. They just make no sense at all. But I'm gonna put up my hallway table right there. Oh no, I painted the wall another color just to see how it would be. But then as I did it, I deleted all the items on that table. And I got most of it back. But I cannot remember what I have there. Ah, uh, what do I do? Maybe I had this lamp there. I'm not really sure. I have to think about that. I do not remember what I had there. Oh my gosh. But alrighty, that was the second floor, people. Oh. It was the second floor. And now we're gonna move up to the third floor and start decorating that. And we're gonna have so much fun. All right, so on the third floor, I have made a quick old layout. Nothing is set in stone yet. Nothing is. But we have a big old hallway right here with the small little hallways that lead out to the balconies. And then we have a big old room right there. Don't know what I'm gonna have in there, but something. And then I have a room right here. Don't know what that's gonna be either. And then we have four rooms on the sides. Do not know what that's gonna be either. But we are on this journey. <laughs> so for this hallway, I mean, we can put in a big old door, can't we? I mean, we can. And I am. Ooh. Ooh, and then actually this room it can be a bathroom and I can split it off into two great thinking Nora You're ahead of your game. Really? Okay, this room. What can this room be? <gasps> Maybe a big old library because we have these cool new bookshelves. I think I'm gonna do that All right. I oh, am yeah, gonna do that. So I think I'm just gonna put up some bookshelves all around town <laughs> When in these little spaces we can put up some cabinets just to fill the space like so with some nicky knacks on them Just a few though. Just a few. Oh my gosh, my name tag. You better go out of this Ah, but yeah, that's kind of cute. I like that I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I gotta be careful with my decorations because this is starting to lag a little bit. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue on with my bookshelves all around town. That's probably not helping the lagging problem, but I gotta do it. Okay, I put up all my freaking bookshelves all around this room. <laughs> and then in this big old space of a room, I'm gonna put up some tables so they can have some study spaces. And I'm also gonna put up the chairs. It's what are tables without chairs. And I'm also gonna put up some books and maybe some laptops and stuff like that. And some lamps. You need lamps when you're in the library, you do. Okay, so I put up my tables, put up some books, some lamps, some laptops, so you can study away, people. All right, now, in these little nooks, I thought of putting up these couches in another color, maybe. Green or brown. Yes, that's a good color. And maybe some poofs. Love me a good poof moment. And you know what? This was indeed very, very lovely. I do kind of like it, you know. <laughs> all right. So that was a grand old library, looking all nice and dandy. And now we're going to figure out those stuff. <laughs> all right, for this hallway, what are we going to begin with first in this hallway? I am going to put up a carpet and this big old light chandelier light oh that's very spiderish it has the spider energy i don't know and we also need some doors for the bathrooms that is also very important to have <laughs> oh and then maybe you can have a couch right there so you know when you're waiting for your grandmother to come out of the bathroom you can sit there and wait because sometimes it takes forever okay it does all right and then for the bathrooms i think i'm gonna change up the wallpaper a little bit maybe this one yeah that could work and then of course we need some toilet rooms so i'm gonna clap down some walls and i'm gonna put in some toilets because why wouldn't you i mean it would be weird to have these stalls without the toilet you know, it, it would. Now we do indeed need some sinks, so I'm gonna put them up as well. How many sinks do we want? Three of them? Sounds reasonable enough for me. Indeed. And they all need some hand soap and some hand towels. I mean, that's kind of... It's not really sanitary to have that type of towel, but that's all we got, people. That's all we got. And then in that corner right there, what if I put up a chair? You know, you might need a chair in the bathroom. You never know what happens in there. You never, never know. All right, so there's the bathrooms. I did the exact same thing in each bathroom.
bathroom because that's realistic when it comes to these types of bathrooms, you know? Okay, real talk. My game is starting to lag really bad. So I don't think I can put that much stuff in these four rooms. So maybe before my game crashes, maybe I can make these rooms abandoned with this abandoned wallpaper. <laughs> and then I can also put some holes in the floors and all the freaking scruffs on the wall. <laughs> I don't know why. And then just some random crates everywhere and stuff and some canvases and a random bookshelf and this random random chest <laughs> with a little fossil over there too <laughs> all right so that was my abandoned rooms very beautiful and that was indeed the whole house finished isn't that crazy i think that's crazy because what what is going on all right i do think it's time for a house tour i really do think it is what a wonderful day and this house tour is going to be a little bit weird because i don't have my shaders on so it's just going to be a plain old normal house tour but oh my gosh look at that garden or cemetery i mean it's not a garden it's a cemetery it's so scary mary and oh me oh my let's have a little walk it's so creepy and scary out here oh my gosh <laughs> in this scary scary house beautiful <laughs> but anyways here is the side of the house you know you know got me plants got everything and then another side of the house it's called the back of the house people and there's the back of the house and another side of the house you wouldn't have guessed that would you no but here's the back of the house no it was the side of the house what am i on about anyways <laughs> and can you believe it i forgot to put the house on the foundation wow wonderful and the game almost crashed wow we okay that was <laughs> that was a close one, people. Okay, so here is the entryway. The beautiful roundabout carpet that you had to go around to get the casket in that room. <laughs> and then on the other side here, we got the beautiful office. And my office chair is missing. What happened there? <laughs> it was there a second ago. That table is missing too. Why is all my stuff gone? What is happening? <gasps> my microwave is gone too. Oh no, I'm losing a lot of stuff. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no, guys. It's all missing. Everything is missing. My chairs are missing. Okay, I gotta figure this out. I don't know what to do. This is a tragedy. Ah, well, hello, hello. It is now two days later or something like that. I can't each remember, but... <laughs> But as you may saw from my tragedy of a house tour, I somehow managed to delete all the items from the house. Um, and then I did the big mistake of saving the game before I logged out, so I couldn't really fix anything. So that meant that I had to do most of it all over again. Well, not most of it, but some of it all over again. I had to replace the missing furniture, and I did. Yeah, um, so that was fantastic. So here's just a little slideshow of the house tour instead, because I'm not filming that all over again. That's not happening. I know. <laughs> absolutely not but yeah how's the house are i kind of like the house it's a little bit empty but it also makes sense when like half of it is supposed to be quote-unquote public place you know it is a funeral home so you wouldn't have lots and lots of decorations everywhere when there are the public people there um yeah no yeah no but i really like the mood i like the vibe i like the ambiance it's kind of cozy it's kind of occultish it's kind of mysterious and i do like it i really do so i hope you're enjoying the house too because uh otherwise i'm gonna be sad <laughs> Otherwise, no, it's gonna be sad. And I do gotta say, this house is a maze of a house. There's so many rooms. I don't even know how many rooms there are. But there's a lot of rooms. Three floors. So many rooms. What, what was I thinking? I don't even know what I was thinking. This build took me... 13 hours to finish 13 hours imagine that 13 hours yeah that's a lot of hours it, it truly it truly is <laughs> a lot of hours oh my but i'm so excited for this pack i love all the furniture i love the vibes it's such a good pack and i'm so excited to continue on building with this pack you know you know so that is something to look forward to at least at least all right i do think that the house store is finished now i'm not sure but maybe it is i'm not good with times i'm not good with clocks i can't understand the concept of time but maybe one day i will all right now i think the house store is over okay ba -ba -ba -ba. all right that was it for this time i hope you really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i did and if you for some reason want to download this build it is not up on my gallery right now it will come up on the gallery when the game comes out okay so you can get it then yeah and don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and i will see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>